Agate, I have done as you asked. The imposter is dead. He was working with De Ferrer. Hmm. What else have you learned? Only... that he would have forced you out of hiding. Let us be thankful it did not come to that. If it had our brotherhood... Well, let us not dwell. You have destroyed the hornet's nest in the bayou. At least for now. De Ferrer will have his day. Senorita. Bonsoir. I'm a friend of Captain Dominguez. Is he on board? <laughs> at this hour, El Capitan is at the tavern. Where else? Thank you. Farewell and adieu to your bare Spanish letters. Farewell and adieu to your letters of Spain. Spain is the only thing I am. I am Carlos Capitan, Dominguez. We meet again. Do we? All three of you look familiar. <laughs> but you are welcome back to my cabin. I've manhood for... I don't think... Or we can consort right here! <laughs> what do you know about Rafael Joaquin de Ferrer? I'm afraid he's not invited. <laughs> What's your business with him? He pays for transport to and from New Orleans. That's all I do. Transport the things and get paid. Things, pay. Transport, pay. Back and forth and forth and back. What is he doing? Why New Orleans? <laughs> I do not know. Senor de Ferrer is a very secretive man. <laughs> Thank you for your time, Capitan. <laughs>
Aveline, out and about as always. But home to rest now, Papa. Monsieur Blanc tells me you do a great service to my business. To our business? For it will be your husband someday. Oh, Papa! You know I should sooner mind my own business than marry. As stubborn as your mother, Jeanne. If only she could see you now. But she can't. No. But perhaps you are old enough now. It is not much. One page. But it is from her diary. You should have it. Mama. Thank you, Papa. Papa, he surprised me. I dared not interrupt. Your music is breathtaking. I dare say you could stop a man's heart. You flatter me too much, Papa. The credit belongs to my teacher. I am but an instrument of his will. How blessed we are with a daughter who uses her talents in peace, not to riot in the streets of New Orleans. There is so much unrest since the arrival of the Spanish. Well, I don't want to keep you from your practice. I simply came with a message from Monsieur Blanc. At your leisure, he requests your assistance at the warehouse. Do take care when you go. The streets are not safe for a lady. No need to worry, Papa. I will try to restrain myself. I know your charm and grace will protect you like armor. Mademoiselle. Tortureuse! Kidnappers! We demand answers! Unwashed scabs, go back to your swamps! How many more will disappear? Get back, or I'll give you a reason to protest! Enough! The man is down. Don't abuse what little power you have. All right, let me go! Now, what's this all about? People have been turning up missing, or not turning up, rather. That's why we... But you have proof the Spanish are behind it? Kidnappings have increased since they got here. Increased? Life was never easy. Now, it's worse. Rioting will only worsen your plight. You need evidence. And how are we going to get that? I... I don't know. Yet. Some help you are.
Ah, Aveline. Good day. I have a, a surprise for you. What do you think? To the unknowing eye, an unassuming warehouse. But to our brotherhood, your new headquarters. Agate takes his office in the swamp. But we thought you might prefer this for your business dealings. From this desk you can manage, or better still, expand your family's trading empire. This room is all yours. And all of your guises are kept here. Over here, you have a private place to change your guise. And most importantly, your weapons and tools will be kept here. <sighs> it is to your liking then. It's perfect. In that case, I will leave you a quiet moment to familiarize yourself with everything. Aveline, I've, um, concocted a special instrument for you. A uh, parasol? I suppose I should thank you, but... Uh, allow me to, uh, demonstrate. See? Elegant and deadly. Just like my lady. Monsieur Blanc, you do know me so well. Ah! Right. Um, so... Business. Do you recall our rival, Monsieur Boucher, who was twice caught watering his wine? Up to his old tricks again? Now he claims our coffee. He rods the nerves. He has erected a stall in the market by the docks and distributes handbills to that effect. Sales are impacted, and we have enough trouble keeping money in the company as it is. Say no more. I'll see to it that he ceases his slander.
Follow me. Produces hives about the face and causes fit men to walk with a limp. Avoid the primitive muck water. Drink fine East India tea, the elixir of gentlemen. What's the meaning of this? I, I, I don't know, ma'am. They pay me to say what I'm told. I can't even read, I swear. Where is your employer? At his warehouse, no doubt. <laughs> Please don't hurt me. Aveline, 